Hello everyone, it's Gavin here from Hologram Productions. Would you subscribe, 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 subscribe? Today we're going to be focusing on the sample techniques used by Leon Vinehall to make his style of Deep House. <laughs> So let's break down the style. You need to sample old funk tracks, use real drum samples, generally sampled from vinyl tracks. You're also going to need to apply heavy swing settings on the drums. There's a lot of very dusty 909 hi-hats and side hits on his tracks. Let's not forget the obligatory vocal orgasms, some floaty arpeggios like in the track Sister. And like the track Paradisia, you're going to get some electro down sweeps and then more dusty hats. So let's jump straight into the drums. Look through some vinyl samples. I quite like the kick in this sample. I'll isolate the kick, zoom straight in on the kick itself, put in the midi, four to the floor with a few extra offbeat hits. All of the notes are dragged forward very, very slightly. Apply the sub bass master chorus preset. Apply two drum buses and turn the transients up to make the kick punch harder. Here's a vinyl foley sound which I quite liked and I'm just going to EQ off the bits I don't need. Here's a track called Curse Upon the World by Apple and the Three Oranges and I'm going to use the first 20 seconds of this track to isolate a whole bunch of offbeat hits in drum rack. And I'm going to create a midi loop where all of these hits will hit on the off beat. Vinehall in his older tracks uses an awful lot of up front, off beat, real drum hits. This is a shaker loop sample from vinyl. Use the EQ to roll off everything and just boost the highs. To get that Vinehall swing, the kicks should hit slightly earlier, as you see here. And the off beat hits should be highlighted and dragged forward to be slightly late, hence the swing. A nice sandy shaker on the midi, if you zoom in, they all hit slightly late. You can hear that slightly lazy swing, very very deep house. Here's a 909 ride sample. Roll off the lows from 1000Hz and lower, you only need the highs. Group all your drums together and just apply a little bit of saturator to drive those drums. Now let's make a layered clap. There are three layers, each sample from vinyl. I isolate an individual hit in this track that I like. This is quite nice. Here's a second hit from a folk track which I quite like, except I have to roll off the lows because this is what it sounds like with a kick and without. It's quite nice. And then a third which is a rim hit. All three together. Apply some processing with the drum bus. And then EQ to roll off the lows. The snares will hit slightly early, as you can see on the MIDI, I've highlighted all of them, dragging them forward a bit. Again, it's all about the swing. I decided to convert them to audio to save on CPU processing, you don't have to do this. All together, lovely, dusty and tight. I hope you enjoy all of this free knowledge I'm giving away on this website. Now pay for something. Get on to me at this email and get a personal tutorial. Now. Great, so now it's time to start making the pads. Again, no wavetable this time, just sampling from vinyl. Here's a nice Atmos sample. Sounds delicious. Here's a second sample, which I just dug and found on some random vinyl. Now watch this trick, I'm going to create a wah effect by pulling the filter down and turning on the LFO to 16th hits with a sine wave. And cool, a nice wah effect. Third sample, some obscure avant-garde on vinyl. Sounded nice, all together. OTT. Punch with drum bus, compress it to the kick and then roll off the bits you don't need. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so now we need to move on to the bass. Here's a vinyl track that Vinehall has used. And I'm going to use it to make our bass. This is perfect, I hardly need to do any processing. But I will, bit of drum bus, bit of EQ. Yes, I love this. Okay, so now let's move on to making the lead. Same sample as the bass, into sampler in slice mode, and I'm slicing up the string hits at the beginning. Rhythmically. So I dial this in on the MIDI. Make sure it's prominently sidechained to the kick, and you're pretty much there. 
see it's coming together. But I do need wavetable to make the floaty arps. Start with standard sine wave and draw out 16th hits in the key of C and move a couple of notes around fairly randomly as long as they're in the same key, which is C minor. Sounds quite nice. Now move it up to square wave and add delay. Glue it down so it doesn't sound too piercingly digital. Then a little bit of overdrive, a tiny bit of redux and the clipped slap analog preset of Echo. This is the thing that does it. But now we need to give a pluck sound by adding envelope to about 48 and pulling the filter down. And now you've got a beautiful plucking ARP. Just roll off the lows. I want another texture for the breakdown, so I just came across the soundtrack breaking and entering, uh, found a little bit which I thought would be a nice ambient texture, added that. Movie soundtracks are a great resource for ambient background textures. For the down sweep, use a saw wave and operator, turn on the glide, 2.29 seconds, and then one note falling into the other, turn on echo, and you've got it. Now for the orgasm hit sounds, just find some ASMR of people having sex, download that, put it into slice, you could just find some male orgasm hit. Yep, yeah, maybe try that, turn on chorus, turn OTT reverb. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's listen to the arrangement. Shameless plug alert. Buy my samples. Buy my samples. Bam, 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 bam. End of plug. Now listen to the track. Uh, yeah, I decided to remove the orgasm bit. It was stupid. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of mileage uh, with exploring the sound of Leon Vinehall. This is just his more old school deep house. He's also got the more orchestral ambient experiments of Nothing Is Still and the much more out there experiments of Rare Forever. So there's a lot to explore, but this should be a decent uh, thing to get started with. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 and I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.